Uh, there have been uh, two telling moments of uh, the Obama relations with the European Union. Uh, the first one was uh, in the midst of uh, the financial crisis back in 2011 when Italy was uh, risking a default uh, on its public debt uh, in, because of uh, the very high spread it was fetching on financial markets. Um, at that time, uh, uh, during uh, a famous G20 meeting, uh, the Italian Prime Minister of the time, uh, Professor Mario Monti, uh, was able to support uh, the US uh, alliance in order to convince Mrs. Merkel to grant uh, permission for the European Central Bank uh, so-called Outright Monetary Transaction Program. It was a program meant to sustain uh, the lower end of the spreads on uh, financial markets. Uh, that program, together with the signature of the European Stability Mechanism, uh, basically uh, put an end to the peak of the financial crisis in Europe. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, again, at the, that time, the Italian-US, if you want, relationship was uh, instrumental to close the deal on uh, that uh, dossier. The other telling moment was during the Ukrainian crisis. Um, basically, the United States wanted to play a very harsh hand against uh, Russia uh, because they wanted to secure the integrity uh, of uh, Ukraine from a point of view of its territory. That meant uh, even if Crimea would have gone to the Russian army, uh, preserving the Ukrainian eastern border. Um, the, United, the European Union was uh, deeply against uh, a very harsh end with Russia because uh, the fear was that an escalation of the conflict uh, in Kiev would have ended up very close, maybe too close uh, to the European borders, in particular Poland. And it was Mrs. Merkel flying to Washington and then uh, basically closing the deal with uh, President Obama uh, and, and then negotiating its term of uh, the peace with uh, Vladimir Putin back um, in Minsk uh, that basically put an end to the uh, U Ukrainian war, maybe at terms that were not entirely satisfactory for the US. Uh, in these two moments, therefore, the relationship with Europe was in a way positive and supportive uh, when the financial crisis hit. On the other end, on terms of foreign policy, it was a bit, uh, let's say, less uh, straightforward. And in this, probably, we have uh, also judgment on uh, the Obama administration. Uh, I would say very positive on the managing of the crisis, uh, very positive on economic terms, probably less satisfactory in terms of your foreign policy.